Hey guys, JP here, bringing you a guide for all 26 collectibles in Doom. And if you get all 26, you'll also get the Every Nook and Cranny achievement. So the first collectible is not really at the beginning of the level, but after you come outside onto the surface, uh, you'll go through some areas and then you'll get to this blue door that you have to find the key for. And the collectible's up there, but you have to run around over here since you don't have your uh, jump boots yet. So right here is the guy with the key card. And just jump up here. This one is uh, a little bit later on in the level. It's after the, uh, the lever and door for the classic uh, secret room. Now this one is on level 2, it's the first one, and it's a little tricky, uh, you gotta do a little bit of parkouring to get up to it. So you have to go into this building, and from the beginning if you would've kept going forward from where I was, you would've gotten to an elevator to progress the story, but instead we jumped up here to collect this little guy. And he's probably my favorite because you fist bump him. This one is towards the end of the level, like right at the end of the level. You'll recognize this room as soon as you get to it. But you just turn left and jump up here on these crates and go into this uh, vent. Level 3. So this one, you have to jump into this uh, container right here. And then later on, where you get the uh, yellow key card from the uh, dead guy right in front of me, you just turn right and you jump down here. Don't fall into the lava, and he's right underneath you. Level four. So this is gonna be the first one for for this level. Just gotta jump up here and go to your left. Follow this little path. You have to come out here to progress the story, so you should recognize it when you get to this point. And the second one is going to be towards the end of the level. You've got to hop down here, jump on these uh, crates, and jump on this pop right here. Or grating, whatever. Level 5. Now this one's uh, you got a little tricky. You got to do some jumping for this one. So directly behind me when I started, uh, I do believe it was an elite guard and a uh, audio log. And you have your uh, thrust boots by now, so you just got to do a little better job of uh, jumping than I did. get up here, just wait for the train, follow it through, and it'll be directly to your left. Now this one is a, uh, is in the last main area you can go into. You'll notice this place, but as soon as you get up here, you're going to want to turn right and then look under this pillow here and try not to fall to your death. Level 6. This is the first time you're in hell. So this is the uh, beginning of the level. You have to uh, progress the story or go through the level and that gate will open and then you can come back and pick this one up but you have to go through that teleporter eventually. And 
the second one is right up here. You're gonna have to really look at the mini map. It's it's hard for me to explain where about this one is, but it is towards the end of the level. Now level six. This is literally right at the beginning of the level, uh, and it's right beside the classic Doom Room. If you would have jumped up, you would have hit the lever for it, which I cover in another video. And then later on, you have to come to this area and fight a bunch of guys. And Once you come inside, you're going to go directly to your left and look up. And there he is. So level 8. This one is right beside the lever to open the door for the classic uh, Doom map. Just gotta jump over here. And the lever's on the other side of this pipe, which like I said, I, I put out another video for that one. That I'll uh, link at the end. And it's considered humanity. And then later on, you're going to come to this part, and you're going to want to go into Prototype Lab 1 and jump on this machine, and uh, just go through the vents, and you'll find it. Level 9, uh, you got to progress a little bit, well, a little bit, a lot, to get to this point. You're going to want to go to your left and jump behind the tablet. The uh, tablets on the right side of the room have glass in front of them, so you don't have to worry about mixing up which side. And the second toy is actually, uh, it's pretty cool. You come to this room where that big thing is, I forgot what it was called. But you come around and you look for the one with the red. And you pull out the tray and pick it up. Level 10 is... You have to come through that portal and you'll enter this room. And as soon as you enter the room, go along the right side. And after you kill everybody, this uh, door will be open. And you can pick them up. Now the second toy is direct is right after that room. That's the portal that you have to go to to get to this room, which uh, the blue door is in. So you'll recognize this room pretty easy. And I went to this side over here because I was already, you know, over here. But once you enter the room, you can go right and go up that lift too. It really doesn't matter. And all you gotta do is jump across, and you'll be right there. Level 11, you're still in hell, and you'll fall down, you'll jump down a chute, and that's right where you land, is right where I started. So you'll recognize this place. And this, the second collectible in level 11 is probably my favorite, because once you get to this point, you gotta look up and I shot that thing with a rocket launcher. I don't know if other weapons will, will work. But once you shoot it, you know, an old school cube from the first and second game will come floating out and land. And there he is. Now, level 12, here again, you're at the, you know, towards the beginning of the level, and you'll get to this point. You can either go left or go right over here which you'll want to go right. And once you come through the door, just follow the vents. Now this one uh, is in the same room, or is near the, uh, the lever for the Doom Room, but you have to get the blue key card. And before you jump down, you want to get that Elite Guard, and you want to get that lever.
once you jump down, you can't come back up. So that's why I turned around and uh, and picked it up. But as soon as you fall, just turn around. And you can either jump off the end or you can go around this way. Either or, you'll get to the same place. Now, level 13, uh, this is the last level. And the last collectible that you can find on your own. And I'll explain that in a minute, but... Uh, just look at the mini-map, and you're going to be at the back of the level. And the very last collectible is when you beat the final boss of the game, and beat the game, you just automatically get the collectible, so there's no searching for it. So I hope this guide, I hope this guide was uh, helpful, and like I said, I'll leave a link for the Doom Rooms at the end of the video and in the description. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and comment. Take it easy. Uh, Heir to the Knee Guy from Skyrim. Uh, I'll be covering Easter eggs in another video, but I just want to show that while we're here.